Everybody, let's uh, let's redeem. Let's redeem our previous performance. I mean, we actually played really well on our last run. Unfortunately, I uh, dropped the ball where it counts. <laughs> we'll do Tainted Lazarus again. If you didn't watch the last episode, it's an all-timer. I think I, I played, at times in that run, out of my gourd. Strategically, I got every piece of the, the buffalo under control there. Unfortunately, Grandma fell at the sand dunes, broke her coccyx, as Uncle Rico says in Napoleon Dynamite, which is a, a metaphorical way of saying I forgot to take the fool card, uh, and as a result, it all fell apart. Uh, when we were trying to do true ending, but we still got I mean we unlocked nothing, but I got some confidence and that's Worth something. It's not worth nothing. I think uh, I have to think about dunce camp by the way Dunce camp is like is is the perfect example of As much as I don't think uh, I was gonna call it fallout guy uh, as much as I don't think that family guy is uh, that funny of a show. And I, I'm not trying to rag on her, okay? If you're into it, you're into it. Um, check this out, by the way. I'm, I'm a legend. I'm a legend. I'm a gamer. I'm a legend? That's honestly one of the best plays I've ever made in this entire game. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Anyway, um, and it, it worked out kind of well there. That was nice. Um, as my, you know, I, I was part of the, the cohort that made Family Guy popular. I don't mean like I have any, you know, I, I didn't do anything. I don't know, in a Nielsen box or whatever. Uh, but I was like, you know, 13, 14 when it first came on the air. Then when Fox canceled it, the narrative back then, at least in my demographic cohort, and it's hilarious to think back on this. But was that, you know, Family Guy was part of that, like, holy trinity of shows that Fox canceled without realizing they had solid gold on their hands. Um, it was like that, and then um, Arrested Development, and then uh, Firefly. I can't remember if Firefly was actually Fox, but either way, you know, the, the idea back then was like, oh my god, these... Idiots like these corporate suits don't know what they have. Bring it back, or you know, we'll we'll get you. I don't know what get you means. I, I guess in that case we kind of did get them because what did we do to respond? Well, we all uh, stopped having uh, cable and instead just moved to subscription services, undermining their business model completely from the ground up. However, I've just kind of grown out of it, and you know, like like all good things, it should maybe, in my opinion, have come to an end before it kind of jumped the shark, but here I am still recording the same video game nine years later, so what do I know? You know, you, you gotta sing for your supper. Either way, as much as I, I don't harbor a ton of uh, good nature for Family Guy, I do have to admit the, the all-time classic bit of, you know, you can get uh, a boat or you can get whatever's in the mystery box and then Peter saying the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. That's how I feel about, I, I mean, how people understand probability and also just the thrill of the unknown, you know? Like, Dunce Cap is bad, but on the other hand, what if our next item room has a boat in it? What if, what if the mystery box has tractor beam? Then we're like, it's double damage. It could be the best item we ever could have asked for. I'm probably gonna ignore it, but we'll see. Uh... You know, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. This floor, we, we made some good plays, didn't get much, life goes on. That's the way it's gotta be sometimes. So what's, what's the game plan? We have a hush, which is plausible, but you gotta get like a decent item, I think, somewhat early. Uh, in order to make hush uh, workable. Otherwise, you're gonna be going too slow. Or we have true ending, which I, I think is a little bit easier, and, you know, we'll, we'll see. I guess we'll see is the, the long and short of it. Hanged Man card, actually, like, fairly valuable in the early game to try to, you know, squeeze some sort of advantage out of. 
Number one thing in my world, we can't afford to not get a deal with the devil here. We might not take the deal with the devil. We'll probably look, but we might not. Uh, we might not take the deal with the devil, but we're definitely gonna look. I know you're like, maybe you should use the Hanged Man here to save half a red heart. Half a red heart is worth about this much to me. And you can't see what I'm doing with my hands, but I'm making the uh, the the emoji for pinch. You know, the the one that's like a wafer-thin slice of, uh, of goodness. I don't think half a red heart's worth enough to use the Hanged Man early when we could really use, you know, just about <laughs> any consumable on mass right now. Anyway, today is a Sunday. It's still early. It's about 9.35 a.m. Got a little Slay the Spire done this morning. Uh, now we're out here playing Isaac. And, and honestly, feeling good not just about the weekend, but about how uh, the week's going to go. Because I'm a little bit ahead on recording now. It's always nice to start a little bit ahead. I'm going to put a bomb down. I just, just Even though it only killed two basic flies, just anything to like get out ahead of the curve here. And I think we're going to fight. This is like a perfect boss for us. Even though I... We, oh, the, what the? Bob's Curse makes poison clouds now. What a world. Okay, um, don't grab that yet. Don't even grab this. It's a speed upgrade. That's potentially amazing. Um, I, I think that's an unbelievable get. We will then swap. And what are you going to get out of this? I bet you're going to get range. So, honestly, I think out of those two, speed is the gimme. So maybe we'll do one room and then swap. Um, but yeah, it, it's nice to be, you know, it's it's 9 a.m. on a Sunday. I already know I'm going to be slightly ahead for at least a couple days this week. It's a good feeling, you know? Had a great Saturday. Uh, I know I said I would inform you of my uh, opinion on the Black Widow movie. Please don't call me a hater, okay? I'm, if anything... I think we need to put this on the weaker the weaker unit for now. Um, I watch all the Marvel stuff, you know, I've I've prior to the pandemic at least as as well, I had seen like the last probably seven or eight Marvel movies, either opening night or midnight release on the Thursday when they come out on the Friday. So, you know, you're you're dealing with uh, with somebody that's a fan of the Marvel stuff, and I'm I'm a big fan of Loki, I thought WandaVision was pretty good. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Eh, you know, we don't really need to get into that. We can just remain friends. Um, 16 cents. No fighting in here. Hold on. Check the shop real quick. This is... You, you gotta focus for sure. Mystery Gift is very potentially good. Um, usually to use on a secret room, but maybe we'd actually rather use it on a uh, on a deal with the devil now that we know goat heads coming up get some items maybe for free uh secret room items are great but i think we need offense and it's probably a little bit easier to guarantee offense but it, i didn't even think about the fact that it would just be open right now lemmington seems good uh and then lemmington worth noting also gets used on the pool it draws an item from the pool that you're standing in, so we can use Lemmington on Deals with the Devil exclusively to build items. That's that's mighty interesting. Anyway, um, I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier was fine. I just I just think it's the worst of the three Disney Plus shows. Not trying to cause problems or anything. Now, Black Widow. I thought Black Widow was... Uh, well, I mean, I, I think I summed it up in my tweet. For me, I said it was kind of okay, kind of stinky. It's I, I don't I'm not gonna give you a review like in in verbose terminology, cause like who cares? You know, it, it depends. Do you want the review to be for people who might be prospective to watch the movie in the future, and, and you know, be like, hey, should you spend 15 bucks on a movie ticket or 30 bucks on Disney Premier Access? You know, if if you're giving a review from like a consumer standpoint. Uh, I, I think you could do better with your money right now than spending 30 bucks to watch uh, Black Widow at home. And that's coming from somebody that's into the Marvel stuff. If you've already seen the movie and you just want somebody to validate your opinion on it by talking about how they felt about it, I don't know if I'm that guy for you right now. But, I, uh, you know, the, the comic elements of it I thought were pretty good, pretty fun. You know, it's, it's standard 
Marvel kind of quip stuff, but uh, that doesn't bother me. Uh, and then, I, I love uh, Florence Pugh as an actress. You know, it, Midsummer is one of my favorite movies of like the last 10 years for sure. Uh, David Harbour's fun. Rachel Weiss, you know, another amazing actress. Like, it's a very talented cast. It's just the movie's a little, you know, for me, a little paint by numbers, classic Marvel complaint of like uh, a, a very forgettable villain and just uh, all in all, re relatively low stakes compared to the rest of the cinematic universe. Not bad, just kind of like after I watched it, like if, if we're separating Marvel movies into tiers, as I have been known to do. Um, it's it's closer to the bottom tier, not not quite in that you know like Thor: The Dark World type era or Incredible Hulk, but uh, definitely maybe around like Ant Man Two, which I understand is gonna people as soon as I said that people are gonna be like, <gasps> like I I thought Ant Man Two was merely okay, and I think that this fits the same bill. But uh, I, I apologize if you if you think differently. I'm glad you liked it that much. And if you thought it was pure garbage, well, I'm sorry you hated it that much. Now, half a spirit heart, I think, is worth the hanged man card here. The the most glaring indictment, I guess, that I could say is that, like, at at points in the movie, I was I was kind of bored. That's and that's uh, say what you will about the Marvel stuff. That's somewhat atypical for me. Now, for, forget it. You don't have to worry about a deal with the devil. I'm realizing now you don't have to worry about a deal with the devil. Because we have goat heads, so that's good. Um, we also... Lemmington's going to get charged up. This is not looking like a great uh, hush run, <laughs> for the record. Still uh, a little bit uh, slow. A little Well, not, not much, but a little. That's what happens when, you know, you're a, a character that's slow to begin with, and then your first uh, item room is Dunce Cap, and then your first boss fight is an HP upgrade, and then your second boss fight is Consolation Prize. We got, we got some means. We just gotta get some ends as well. How you doing, Biggie Smalls? In mansions and benzes? Giving ends to my friends, and it feels stupendous. But apart from that, I mean, I, it was fun. Like, I have to remember, like, you know, I'm I'm out here. I'm not watching the movie like uh, as a cinephile, wearing a, a a velvet smoking jacket, like, you know, sitting in my home theater like Howard Hughes, thinking about aliens. Like, I'm I'm watching it, you know, on the couch with my wife every, you know, 20 minutes if I get a little bored. Uh, let's maybe I'll empty the dishwasher right now. It seems like the movie's going through a little bit of a lull. Maybe I'll empty the dishwasher real quick while we wait. Let's not do this quite yet. I'm not going to use Lemmington because I know our boss fight's coming right up. And I don't know if we have to, like, use our... Uh, if we have to, like, swap characters to make Goathead work properly here. I'm going to assume we don't, but... Um, so, like, you know, it, I, I even though Black Widow, I did not enjoy it that much. I, I thought it was merely, you know, workmanlike. Let's put it that way. Uh... It was still a nice way to spend a Saturday, you know? Babies asleep, watch a movie with the wife on the couch. Puzzle out what this means for the Marvel Cinematic Universe afterwards. It was still okay. I also... I took the baby to the activity gym. How dare you. Which was the first time that I've done that. Um... But it was a great time. So what is Activity Gym? You know, it's like, um... They go by different names depending on where you live. But the Activity Gym is basically like a... A combination daycare slash baby personal trainer slash like... You know, social... Club for infants. You go there, they got all sorts of cool baby toys. They lead you around in songs. They shoot bubbles up in the air and stuff like that. Um... So I took the baby to Activity Gym and honestly had, like, a an amazing time. Maybe it's just that my standards have been lowered. Yes, I am trying to spin you a yarn, by the way, because I know that this fight is going to take forever and probably the runs will take forever for, for the next little bit. <laughs> no Krampus, no Krampus. Um, 
I think we'll probably flip, but just give me a second here. So you use Lemmington, Brother Bobby. Really glad I saved. I think I want seven seals. We don't care about Ghost Baby. Give me the pill. Use it. No big deal. Flip me. Grab Placenta. We needed some kind of survivability. The flies stick around, which is actually really helpful. I think there's a lot to glean on this floor, but I don't think we're going to uh, get to hush. <laughs> I think that's becoming increasingly obvious. And that's fine. You know, it's going to take a special run, I think, to, to make hush plausible. Okay, Dull Razor and absolutely nothing else. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, might as well take that for the time being. And... Harlequin baby. Wow. Um, what do you get for the man who has everything? Nothing, I guess, is the answer. Anyway, I was going to say, like, I'm not sure if it's just because, like, I haven't uh, really been to any kind of social engagement uh, for, like, two years, really. But being at the, at the activity gym, you know, there were a couple of other parents there with their young kids and... You know, just watching the kids kind of like crawl around and, you know, interact with infants their own age for the first time. It was, uh, it was downright, uh, it was transcendental. It felt like a return to normalcy to some extent. Uh, is this, that's not a secret room, huh? And I'm happy to report that, uh, the baby started making some friends. There was another child there during, uh, bubble time. I guess we're, you know what, we can play this judgment. You know, we could actually play uh, the the blood bank as well. You just got to be a little cautious. I guess we don't care so much about the flies. Let's see what you got for me. Like, more HP would be oh so helpful. Um, and uh, our daughter, you know, she's nine months old. That was easy. Uh, she started, like, during song time, she started crawling over to another baby. And I, you kind of make eye contact with the other parent to be like, is this okay? And they give you the, the nod, like, yeah, we're cool. And then she grabbed the other kid's foot, which as an adult is something that would probably get you in a lot of trouble. Unless you directed Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, in which case they might be like, thank you for your consideration. Yes, that's a joke about Quentin Tarantino's well-publicized foot fetish. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one to the next level, man. I just had a feeling. That's not what we wanted, but it, it's something. Um, but the kid was cool with it. They were like, whoa, I, you know, you're touching my foot. And then my kid was like, whoa, I'm touching somebody else's foot. And then they, like, started crawling off together. And it honestly almost brought a tear to my eye. I'm like, now I'm like, I want to, I want to go back to the activity gym every week. <laughs> Maybe I found a hobby. Uh, I've been talking about hobbies. Maybe I found one. Uh, being a dad. I, I just don't want to become one of those, like, sport parents who's, like, way too into things that they should not be. Like, come on, yeah, crawl! Crawl across the rope bridge! Crawl, yeah, yeah! Wait, get, get out of my way! I don't know why I, I turned into Larry David there, but... You get the idea. Okay. Anyway, that was my Saturday. It was a good time. Got some chores done. This nice walk. Just a just a nice, uh, you know, time slowly untangling my real life from my internet persona as angry man who yells at things in Isaac. Feels good. Let's see what else we got here. Now we got to return to our internet life. Angry man who yells at things in Isaac, has returned. Um, how do we pull the win off here? Well, what you definitely don't do is fail to pick up the Fool card on the Depths 2. If you, considering that we have Goathead, I think with a little bit of luck in terms of the item pool and a little bit of, you know, discretion, like, not taking bad items just because they happen to exist. Uh, I, I think that we have a genuine chance at potential greatness. And, and I'm being sincere. I think this could be a true ending victory. I, I, we, we haven't really picked up too many items that um, make me believe that completely yet. But 
I also think that we're we're actually well positioned as as bad as it looks right now. I think we're well positioned for the future. We just need like that that dream item room, that dream devil room, you know, some good stats or something like that. Uh, and I, I think I actually have a play. You got to give me a second here to make it work. So we're going to step on this. I hate not knowing where we're going. Then, um, at the risk of making a, a big mistake here, we're going to do that. See what we get. It justified its existence. I, ooh, what the? I, I thought we died. Thankfully, I forgot we had that demon heart. I was actually like, you've, you've stun locked me. Did you did you sincerely not take damage from that golden bomb? I know we can flip. Okay, the pulse returning to normal. <laughs> was this worth it? If we don't get hit here, it actually was. Like a golden bomb when your damage sucks is like it's like the opposite of ironic by Alanis Morissette. Like it's actually exactly what you needed. It's like 10,000 spoons when all you need is 10,000 spoons. Because, I mean, if you needed a spoon, 10,000 would be a little much. You ever think about how, like, uh, the rise and grind culture probably doesn't understand uh, Ironic by Alanis Morissette? Uh, so let me get this straight. You need a knife, someone gives you 10,000 spoons, you can't figure out a way to create uh, a single knife out of it? I would simply smelt, I would go to my local scrap metal recycling plant. I would give them all 10,000 spoons. I would use that money to buy a knife and then also maybe uh, that's passive income. Once you understand it, it'll change your life. That's a, you gotta be always online to even come close to understanding this joke. Uh, we have flip available, so I think we can fight first. This is uh, a boss, obviously. We've already kind of proven we can deal with on this floor. Why are you slow? Maybe uh, some of the... Excuse me, my goat head? <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're, we're going hard on this one. So I think we, we take... Flip? The flip did not open a deal with the devil, for the record. I'm I'm a little upset. Can I be honest with you that I'm a little upset? I mean, we I just watched a 100% devil deal chance flip to zero for reasons that I can't even understand. Uh, but I will take stopwatch, and I will take the battery. And we still have an item room available here. And, we, you know, there's always a chance you get like a... Magic mushroom or something like that. I'm not mad. You know, it's a game. There's a lot of there's a lot of edge cases in this game. I, I don't expect you know it, literally every single one to be hard coded in. That's probably tens of thousands of, of unique cases. That being said, I do want the one that we're suffering from right now to be coded in because it affects me uh, immediately and and on a personal level. So. Um, if you could just if you could just patch that in right now that'd be great I still am not pessimistic about our overall chances on this run um, the only thing is like you might have noticed we're using uh, golden bombs quite prodigiously that's because my damage is both characters do be kind of stinky One hundred. Okay, we have a one hundred percent devil deal chance as this character. So of course, my hunch now. What if we just go walk into the room? If you'll allow me, I'll just walk into the room. There's my devil deal. I would literally. I was about to say. I actually don't mind if it's Krampus, just because our our flip is not ready. We still have golden bombs, so it's like, it's not a bad time to fight Krampus. And literally, we could definitely use his item as as anybody. I don't know who needs it. Little Abaddon. Hey, at least it's something. We still need to find our item room. Dude, these tainted Lazarus runs, man. <laughs> it's such a mess. Okay, so we just focus, be, be sensible. You got two more floors to make this work. 
Then you got... Uh, do we have a realistic chance of, uh, of being able to beat the beast right now? I would say no. But I would also couch that in the caveat that we're still pretty early. Luck down. Not great. Puberty? That's not so bad. We're, we're early enough that I, I don't feel like, uh, you know, this is, like, catastrophic. Plus, we've already fought Krampus, which, like, that's, like, a resource in and of itself, having already fought Krampus. Surely, I you know that there must be an item room. We didn't get it, right? Like, I, I don't believe so. Magic Mush? Magic Mush? Magic Mush, anybody? Anybody for Magic Mush? Literally just did not move. Um, bombs? I want to go to the curse room. We need to make our B side a little stronger. This is good. I don't think we'll die as a result of this. Okay, that's a perfect way to make B side a little stronger. Uh, am I willing to uh, swing for the fences on this one? I think I'm willing to swing for the fences. I regret everything. Um, just flip me. Just to be a little safer, right? Like, everybody's close to the edge here. This is a lot like our last run, actually. You know, where nobody had any HP. And that, that run came together at the end. So, there's always hope. But would it kill you to just give me, like, something? <laughs> what is this? I, I think you gotta try. I'm completely okay with that. Wheel of Fortune, just gonna be honest, like, get exploded. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I wish I wish I knew what the path to greatness on this run is. But I don't, so we'll just head down to the next floor and try to dodge and shoot forehead. Dank Depths won at 24 minutes. Tell me your run is not uh, doing so hot without telling me your run's not doing so hot. You're on the Dank Depths at 28 minutes. Mm. Little sussy. Sorry, I just uh, needed to fill some dead air. Okay, I don't know how little portal works. And I'm afraid to ask. So I'm just going to take it. I, I really, I think it's one of those items that the only reason we would really want to be particular about who picks it up is because it uh, might play into a transformation at some point. But even then, I'm not, I'm not sure that even uh, applies here. Okay, so most important thing, we're going to be looking for tinted rocks. Honestly, like, I, as much as I hate to say it, I do think that's our most important thing. Your soul. Give it to me. Don't know what it does. Hey, but Candy Heart... Assuming... I, I bet when we lose Candy Heart, we'll lose the stats that we get out of it. But that seems like a really good Lemmington get, right? So Candy Heart is anytime we pick up HP uh, as the other character. Um, we As the A-side, to try to use consistent nomenclature. Uh, we should get... Stats. So a lover's card is is quite nice there. Okay. Um, it, I. It's hard to complain. I was standing where the enemy spawns. On the flip side, <laughs> f you. <laughs> Hit me once. I just want to try this. It it totally worked. Hit me again. This is what you got to do in this game, uh, uh, to some extent, I guess. Uh, hit me again. Again, I have no idea if this will last, but I appreciate that we got some stats, at least in the in the interim period. I kind of feel like I need to blow you up. I don't I, I can't believe that I didn't get the other skull. Um The reason I kind of, Oh, we have a tinted rock. A tinted rock. It would have been better if you hadn't died, but that's okay. Just give it one second. Don't take. This must be taken as our other character, the B-side. I'm almost thinking that 
we're, we're kind of in like a greedier situation, weirdly enough, where like the most logical source of like uh, victory for us is a shop with a restock followed by uh, like 20 spirit hearts. Just purchasing spirit hearts, mainlining, begging for the location through text of all the spirit hearts. Secret room? No secret room. That's fine. You gotta look for it, man. You gotta look for it. So I'm not sweating it. Lemmington? Okay. Not not a bad Lemmington. Oh, you know what? We lost our candy heart. I wonder if we kept the stats. I wasn't... I didn't really get a chance to get too used to them. We're getting pretty close to, like... It, like put up or shut up territory, you know, S or get off the pot, as people say, when they're not subject to the Google DeepMind uh, vulgarity filter. I don't know why I said it like that, vulgarity. Um, a little close for comfort there, especially with this shop having like literally nothing except a little money. And what's money without an opportunity to use it? Uh, we we kind of need like fallen or an amazing deal with the devil or possibly both if you could if you could swing that if you could find it in your heart to to swing that for me we might have screwed up flip uh, or like our deal with the devil by using flip but we also might not have lived if we didn't because i think a champion uh gate can kill us in one hit i don't know i'm i'm drawing on encyclopedic knowledge now we don't have candy hard anymore, so we can, you know, it's, it's probably not going to be that useful, but <laughs> we could try at least. Um, I think we we need to take this as you. You need more damage with Dead Onion. This will scale nicely. This is our deal with the devil. Um, I don't think I can take uh, Dark Judas, unfortunately. I think Dark Judas means we won't be Tainted Lazarus. It would be nice, don't get me wrong. It, it, it would help out a lot. But I'm pretty sure my, my reading of the mechanics in the game is that that would not work for us. My, my reasoning is fairly simple. When you die as uh, Tainted Lazarus, as either side, you die as both sides. Your run is ruined. So... We can't go in here yet, by the way. So, I mean, we can literally go in, but losing a bone heart, sadly, is, like, so catastrophic. So embarrassingly catastrophic when you consider, like, where we're at in our lives. This is not even really worth the fight, honestly. Which is an indictment of where we stand. Um, anyway, long story short, I'm pretty sure that we would die. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we would we would come back if we died as uh, Tainted Lazarus with Dark Judas. I think we would come back as Dark Judas, and as a result, this whole run would be kind of for naught. Um, let's see. Emperor? It's not the kind of teleport we're looking for. Health up? I'm not mad. Like, that's... It's actually pretty good. I think... We have flips available, so we can we can do this without dying. Am I mad? Yeah, you remember that time when I said I was not mad? I'm a little upset. We wanted to flip anyway because we had the spirit heart back here, but it's not the way I would have preferred to have done that. Okay. The funny thing is we actually have like two pretty good runs. Like we, certainly if you stack these runs up, you have one winnable run. We probably, I don't know, a bomb, sadly, might be more valuable than than a nickel at this point. You're so rarely in a situation where a single bone heart carries this much weight for us. But, I mean, the, the question for me, I suppose, is how the heck are we going to live as uh, B-side? One and a half HP, one of which is not even renewable. The, the glib answer... Is that we we probably won't. The real answer is you don't have to panic 
as long as you still got a shop and an item room and a, a, a deal with the devil, there's a chance. Bob's brain. Probably not uh, specifically what you'd be looking for, but honestly, what a dodge, man. Um, with, with my damage being, you know, not that spectacular, but very thankful for seven uh, seals. Um, I'm, I'm really willing to take whatever I can get here. I don't know, man. Don't ruin my Sunday. It's only 10.04 a.m. We absolutely have the potential to have a wonderful Sunday. Gotta clean the bathrooms, vacuum, Swiffer the whole place. But it's possible. What the heck did Little Portal do, man? It just... It, it took it, but it did something. Don't you like, when I when you suck things up, you get uh, stronger and then eventually like you make a, a portal to the boss or something? I don't know. I don't know, man. No greed, please. Thank you. Uh, you need a spirit heart. That's a gimme. Hermit is a teleport card, so we don't need to fish too much. Question mark is a amnesia. Are you, are you insane? Do you hate me or something? I don't understand. Um, so just, as long as you've got flips available and you have the Hermit, you're fine. You could even drop it on the boss fight so that if you flip, you flip. And you can still have the card. Uh, now in my head, I'm like, oh my god. Did I actually have the card on my last run? Did I have the Fool, but I thought I didn't because I was flipped? No, you wouldn't. you wouldn't do that to me, right, game? <laughs> You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses. I'm, I'm in a cold sweat, though. I'm like, I have to go check the video footage after this. Might even have time to, like, I don't know. I kind of want to, like, bake some rolls or something like that. I got so much all-purpose flour. That's an amazing item. Actually, uh, by itself... Puts us in an unbelievably good position because now we can also... I was going to say we can get two deals with the devil per floor, but that is not true now that I think about it. Um, we'll have you take that spirit art for now, even though it's probably overkill. And uh, let's go fight the boss. Let's go fight the boss. Let's all fight the boss. We got, we got Hermit available. So what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to walk in. This is going to be annoying, but we're going to drop the Hermit card. We're not going to pick it back up. We're going to pick up Matchstick. It's not a huge deal, but it's the kind of thing you want to keep active. This probably won't allow us to keep our deal with the Devil active. Like, I, now that I think about it, if we fight as you, I don't think we're going to have a deal. But if I swap, we won't get another swap. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I simply don't know how Goathead works as this character. We may have a 100% chance to get a deal with the devil as our other character as well. I don't think we've taken red heart damage, which is uh, un unbelievable in and of itself, I might add, given the relative weakness of this run. Okay, you literally just like, if you lose focus for even like a split second, you're taking damage, so just preserve that. We're playing Aiko Ruga now. I would like a bomb to work. Too slow, too slow. Way too slow. Way too slow. Oh my god, predictive bomb technology has actually functioned. Please give me the deal with the devil. I'm begging you. It did give us the deal with the devil. Okay. Um, doesn't really matter what you take. Drop the Emperor card. Although we don't really need it for our next floor now that I think about it. Pick this up. Take this. What do you get? What do you get? Uh, it Does it just cost us the, the lost soul then? That's not that bad. All the other items are horrible. <laughs> but that's not that bad. Spirit of the Night's pretty good too. Okay. Um, uh, this is my bet. We have to flip. Thank God we saved the flip. Hermit card. Get out of here. Uh, I guess we do want, like, no, never again. Restock. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? 
After everything we've been through. Alright, well we got a chariot card again. I forgot which way I was going temporarily. I think we're up here. Well, much like our last run, I don't think you could accuse me of not... Uh, by the way, don't go that way. Uh, I'm stupid. Uh, much like our last run, I don't think you could accuse me on this one of not doing my best. We really have been, uh, except for almost going in the wrong direction there. Um, we, we have been doing what we want to do. You know, we, we've been executing pretty well. And definitely, I need to flip. Is there another room? I'd rather not use my flip, but if we have to, we have to. Ah, I'll just do it. That's fine. Don't let me stop you. Um, you know what I just realized? We, we still have one more room, as, or one more floor as well, where maybe... I think we lost restock like a fool. No, we still have it. Okay. So, in theory... We might be able to buy our way in the greatness. Balls of steel. What what an incredible get. Can I say, by the way, at the risk of sounding like a big baby uh, and, and very entitled, we've definitely, like, deserved this one. I've played better on this run than on almost any victory uh, I, I've ever had in this game. Not to say we haven't made some mistakes, but... By and large, I think we've we've played very well. My brain is like, I, I hate that. My brain is very Isaac switched on right now. And you know what it is? I think it's going to activity gym yesterday. <laughs> I think it's got me. It's got me. Uh, it's it's aligned my mental and physical chakras after after singing, you know, so many children's songs around strangers. In spite of the fact that I'm completely tone deaf, nothing can stop me. I'm a puppy in his house waiting for my best friend. He flies a long, long way to come and sing and play. We'll have fun today as long as we're together. Okay, okay, it's not great, and it's on the wrong character. But just by virtue of being not great, it's the third best item we have on our entire run. So there is, there's some goodness there. I'm taking it on everything. Okay, so that's just question marks. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm saved. <laughs> I'm trapped. I'm saved. Owned. Head eyes. Okay, we don't fight a boss on this floor. Which actually sucks, because we could get another deal with the devil. Via, um, Satanic Bible's new mechanics. Please. 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 Better for Satanic Bible than for Lemmington. But we do have a shop, and we do have an item room. You almost got me, you sick son of a gun. And now I'm like, dude, this is twisted up. Things have completely changed. We no longer... You're fine. This is an okay room. Any room... It's like the inverse of your typical Isaac run. Any room that doesn't require us to actually fight enemies is kind of a dream come true. Because our tears are uh, woefully inadequate for where we stand. Good fight. Good fight. Still want to go to the... We've already been to the item room. Yeah, yeah. But still want to go to the shop. Still want to go to the shop. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. Man, oh man. I want this one. This this would be a big one. You got to try. You got to try. I think you just buy the battery as well. I know we're in danger of stacking it up like a little too much on one of the units here, but uh, so what? I'm also, you know what we should do? We should drop our trinket like in this room. I think it'll even work. Pick up dad's note and then we'll get cracked key out of it. Allows us to possibly get inner child <laughs> if we care at all. I think we might. That was that was an error in planning on my part there. I knew that was going to be garbage tier, but oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm I'm realizing that we have a chance.
Bad Trip is full health. Actually kind of unbelievably good to take as our other character. A side. Oh, you probably should have hit me there. Now, I know we meme, okay? I know we laugh it up. Ha 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 ha. We all we have a good time here, okay? But my word, if there's ever been a time Sure. If there's ever been a time where it would be insanely advantageous for us to get that 1 in 30 chance of mom's knife. Uh funny joke. Uh on home, then this would be it. Like this would this would be a landmark day for me. We could still probably lose even with that in mind, but you just keep pushing me. Can you just relax yourself? Like I'm out here trying to play a video game. You're having like this domestic dispute about he spent all the money on Dogecoin or whatever. Like, come on, just keep it, just keep it PG-13 here. Yeah, I know it's a game where you can get attacked by, you know, uh, a vulva. Uh, but uh, at the same time, hey, it's family friendly, you know. We live in a, a culture where, you know, if, you, if you're 12 years old and you watch a movie where, like, somebody's head gets chopped off with a sword, people are like, ah, he's old enough. But if you ever, you know, anyone's ever like, I'm sad, everybody's like, oh, man, my feels, my feels. What do you think's more likely to happen to you in real life? A little bit of negative emotion or getting your head chopped off with a sword? I hope it's a negative emotion, quite frankly. This is, uh... I should not do this room. I should not do this room. Case in point. At least at least it's open now. We don't have a ton of bombs, so you You know what? <laughs> Excuse me? I I want that spirit heart. We can fly. So just get the spirit heart. Yeah, yeah, protect the bone heart. You got bad trip backing you up. Not a good bomb. That I should have seen that coming, but you know what? The, the bone heart remains protected, I suppose. It, what if you gave me magic mush? You ever think about like how funny it would be, like how hilarious it would be if you gave me magic mush, or if you didn't give me anything at all? We're not gonna use cracked key on like uh, random walls. I, you can't, uh, according to my understanding, you can't find. Uh, the the special secret rooms on the home floor. So, we're gonna abstain for the time being. I'm loving this little spewer right now. You wanna come hang out on my deck? Talk about altcoins on my deck with this little spewer? Sick little spewer? You spewing, you little... <laughs> Don't spew on my deck. Sorry, I, sometimes I I get lost in the crafts. <laughs> as, as such a thespian, I uh, occasionally find myself, you know, you gotta not break character till the DVD commentary, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Our odds are really low, but can I tell you, I know this is not statistically valid, but is there like a pog uh, fallacy? What is the pog fallacy? Losing would be devastating. So we must win because otherwise we'd be sad. The pog fallacy. This would be a great opportunity for us to maximize pog. I mean, if I'm being legitimate with you, I don't think you're going to pay out, but we're not doing anything else with four cents, so imagine. Imagine if you did, though. This enemy, mega annoying, saved. You know what's sad is that, like, in my heart of hearts, I'm realizing now there's a very realistic chance that the hopes and dreams of this run, of this run, of this run, uh, hinge on Lemmington? 
I, I can just picture myself in like eight minutes being like, hey, you know, it's not going that well right now, but Lemmington could always give us Brimstone. So that should be cool. Um, and I don't know, maybe like we're going to win this run and then you're watching it later and you're like, wow, what a coward. He's just talking about how like sandbagging nonstop about how he's going to lose. But I mean, like <laughs> it's kinda, it do be kind of stinky right now, but maybe it's not that bad, you know, when we go. Maybe it's uniquely good on the boss fight, I guess is what I'm hoping for. I'm not hoping against it. Quite the opposite. There is a tinted rock. We do not have small rock. We, we gotta take this on the other character, I think, because the other character, the A side, does not have Satanic Bible. They do have cool bombs, though. And I'm thinking that maybe cool bombs might be a way um, that we actually find it within ourselves to make it. By the way, I'm realizing now. I have a broken stopwatch. Come on, come on, man. Well, we got through the whole run and realized that was not the play, but um, there's there's some vindication there. Uh, okay, <laughs> great, great damage. <laughs> yeah, we we might be able to with our bombs. We might be able to do enough damage uh, to Dogma. And then on the beast fight, I don't know, man. Sometimes it just works when you don't expect it. I'm scared. I'm I'm really I know it's not oh, it's the first time seven you know what seven seals that's fair play. You've been so good for us, I can give you I can give you a spirit harder, so not gonna not gonna cry over spilled milk. I'm just I I haven't asked for much, Lord. What if you gave me mom's knife. I've seen footage. I've seen what you've done for others, and I want it for myself. God, I wish that were me. JB24, please. Please. Dirty mind. Not what we're looking for, but that's okay. So we're going to flip once on the way in here. Um, just, to, just to get sorted. You know? Okay. The, the rest is not good for us. Like, the bed, unfortunately, is not good. It won't give us three spirit hearts as the other character. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's going to give us three spirit hearts as the other character. It's not, unfortunately. Um, three, two, one, go. You knew that was the most likely outcome. I still wanted to believe, though. We will flip. Get cracked key. Inner child. Uh, and then we're gonna let it ride uh, as you for right now. I don't want to use my bombs because you do not have the poison bombs. I feel like the poison bombs are... Wait a minute, hold on. No, you don't have poison bombs. I am kind of wondering how you got Lemmington. <laughs> BS, BS by the way. Unless you've been the A side this... No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know how you have Lemmington. Maybe Lemmington sticks around from character to character. I don't have an answer for you. What I do know is that for the time being, the first phase of this fight went extremely well. I was kind of hoping we'd flip here, but that's okay. Good dodge. Good dodge. Just keep it moving. You know the secret. It's working. It's working. Don't give up. Yeah, don't stop the dodge until you know it's safe. I'm looking at this and you know what I'm thinking to myself as sad as it is? I'm thinking Linger Bean is your 10 out of 10 item. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what enables us to possibly do some progressive damage here. I'm also thinking this is going to be like an 80 minute long run. I don't want to glance at the clock right now. Oh, we're only at 54 minutes. You know, 80 is probably a bit of a stretch. Saved. Again, if you thought I was, you know, just giving this one half the attention it deserves, you would be sorely mistaken.
This one is... This is how much I dislike Tainted Lazarus. Is I'm, I'm actually willing to forgo uh, my usual brand of zaniness. Very scary place to stand. Uh, instead, to prioritize actually playing the fight the way it's meant to be played. Would you look at that? He does possess the ability within himself. That was the best fight I've ever had. <laughs> Sadly, that was that was actually just very good, um, and uh, I'm I'm very happy with myself. So this character, A side, a little bit better. We got seven seals. We got booger tears. Um, we we got some potential positives here that could help us out. I think. I think we kind of have to save flip because I feel like flip is best used. Uh, I don't know, like, my thinking is that with Inner Child, we have to make sure that if somebody dies, it's, uh, the B side. Because if it's the A side, I don't think Inner Child will trigger. Unfortunate, but just one of those things you gotta, you gotta pay attention to. Keep the booger tears going. That was way riskier than it needed to be. This fight is gonna suck. And actually, this whole fight is gonna suck. Like, not just the horsemen, which are taking forever. Um, but also, the beast himself. I'm sure he's gonna do attacks. Like, I don't know if I've ever even seen. Wow, terrible. And actually, now that I think about it, like... Slow shots really create a nightmare when the fire comes out on the beast's uh, suction attack. So I think we might have to actually use flip tactically to not slow the fire attack. Uh, though that sounds a little strategically unnecessary relative to my... Uh, Average level of output or, or effort. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm trying to consider every single contingency that could come to pass here. And it pains me more than it pains you. I would love to be talking about, uh, you know, here we go around the mulberry bush or whatever right now, but that's bad. But we are about to get a satanic Bible charge, so maybe it's not that bad. Good, good. I didn't want to use a bomb as a character that's not... It doesn't have the, the top choice bombs, but... Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, seven seals, dude. Just chunk them up. Chunk them up. That hurt. I didn't think that the bomb would travel so fast. By the way, I do want to get out in front of this. If we die, there's going to be some people in the comments who are like, this is a throw, 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 throw. I promise you, this is not a throw. <laughs> of course, I would say that. But no matter what happens on this run, like just to have gotten here is kind of uh, it's its own dream for me. Uh, anything... If we get even a wafer-thin bit of hope out of this runner or entertainment, then that's worth something to me. That's progress. You can do everything right and still lose from time to time without it being a throw. That went, that went just fine. Please, I would like Satanic Bible to be prepared. Okay, we got death. Death is, is annoying, but I'm not going to flip because, again, I think we may need the flip to avoid getting one-tapped by the fires. I do expect this to be pretty annoying. Good dodging. Good dodging. Welcome back. Linger Bean, please. I don't, I don't know what Linger Bean even does. In my head, at some point, it creates holy light. I'm realizing now uh, that that is actually an item called Depression. Oh my god, you're dead? That's surprising. Uh, 
You're gonna be slow, which for me means... Let, let's see, do you have the slow effect? That seems normal speed. But I don't know if maybe that'll change when we get... Uh, when we get the fires. If, if the fires show up, we have to flip. Plus, flipping is not that bad here, because we'll be the other character anyway. And if the other character dies, they have inner child. Yeah, yeah, we have to flip. It's got to be done. Otherwise, the fires, I know it's going to seem like that was unnecessary, but from experience, the fires get stacked up in a weird and, like, undodgeable way if they're slow. So we, we probably prevented, like, maybe two or three hits, but also possibly, like, ten hits <laughs> by, by doing that properly. So we're it's dawning on me now that we're going to win. And I'm, I'm kind of... Is it weird to say I'm kind of mad that I'm winning in spite of this run? Like, I know that might sound like a little ungrateful, but I'm like, this run should not be a win. This should be a heartbreaking loss that gets people over to my side for how bad this character is. Not that there's any debate over it, really. Um, in, instead of, like, a triumphant win that's, like, you know, potentially used as a data point for evidence. Like, see, this character's not so bad. I will also point out, um, I think I've, I've, something's unlocked in my brain, and I'm just, I'm, I'm playing out of my gourd. And, and it honestly doesn't even feel that hard. <laughs> Like, I think that was, like, the second hit we took on this fight, and we've been on it for at least three or four minutes. Like, I don't know what to say. Maybe maybe I, I hit that, you know, sweet spot for REM sleep last night. Ah, that beats me, man. Look at that. Well, we have unlocked salvation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And would you look at that? Greedier hush. Hush is impossible, man. You gotta go record time. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!